if you compare the two to your average films, A Space Odyssey would certainly be the one that stands out. It is subtle. Interstellar, however, is unambiguous. Too unambiguous, you could say, as the main character literally spells out the message of the movie at the end thereof. However, for this reason is the ending easier to enjoy. This is probably the best part of the film. It is a scene where Cooper, the main character, a father of a son and a daughter, is leaving them on Earth, where it is unlivable, to go to space to find a livable planet on which for man to live. He recounts the memory of her hiding in the car, which she once used to do to follow him when he says not to, but now he finds not. During it, the track of a space shuttle countdown is playing, and as the countdown reaches zero, it transitions thence to a footage of the spaceship for which the countdown was meant, and then his being in the spaceship. It is a very emotional scene which also makes for a smooth transition from his being on Earth to living it. This is a pretty funny scene. It cuts a character's long monologue abruptly subverting the expectation that it would be a great emotional moment like in a Disney movie, but instead, he's gone in a second, after which no sound can be heard, creating this dramatic effect by the sheer difference of the two scenes. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you'd like to see more, subscribe, turn on bell notifications.